everybody, welcome back. Guess what, we're at Fiber Rhythm. This was a really exciting place last year. It's where both Kat and I got some kits. Beautiful stuff, nice assortment, and very, very crochet friendly. So let's see what they have new this year. I'll see you on the other side. Everybody. and that was the front of fiber rhythm and a little bit of the inside so fiber rhythm really is like a uh, they have the pop-up shop but they have their their front part which is there it's really cool they give a lot of classes and very 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 crochet centric so one of my favorite designers and book writers just happens to have been there and it was Lorinda Lorinda Redding and here she is with the companion book to one of her novels and I actually have the novels and I have not read them yet. Reading is really hard for, not that reading is hard for me, but it's hard for me to sit down and read because I only have so many hours in the day. Uh, but it is one of my goals for 2020 is to read more and I already have her books because I wanted to read it. But these are companion uh, to the stories that she writes. I, and I got it for this very front pattern right here. I just thought this was really cool on this uh, scarf. So. I got this, I got to see her again and say hello. I usually see her at um, Oregon Flock and Fiber and I've seen her at the CGOA when it was here in Portland. So uh, it, that's, and that's where I actually was introduced to her. She's a remarkable lady, they all are, both, her, uh, both of them. Uh, this is also where I got this, which I'm going to be making for my dear friend. Uh, when I go for the memorial on the 21st, I'm going to be making this for her and we're going to put the family initials on it and give it to her husband uh, as a memorial. Uh, she was a crocheter as well. I brought her over to the dark side and uh, so in memory of that and, and our friendship, I'm going to do that. So this was this and, and, I, and I, I have to tell you just the fact that it's from Lorinda kind of gives it an extra special meaning for me because I really admire her a lot. She is so talented in writing and in pattern work and just so many things. So it just, it, it's near and dear to my heart that I got this from her. Anyway, what I also got from them and not from her specific specifically, but I got from Wondering Muse are these buttons and check out these buttons. Are these not stunning buttons? Oops, I better do this. How's that? Isn't that? And these are buttons. And what's cool about it is they're screw on buttons. See how they have the flat head on the back? So I can screw these on to knit work that I do, right? Or crocheted work. So I'm, I'm unscrewing it so I can show you how this um, works. But this is really cool because they're interchangeable. So now if I wanted to, I could, ooh, I just dropped something. Oh, that. oh it's the fabric disc. Okay. So. See how there's the back of that part and here's the back of the screw itself. And then you just screw them together. It's easier when you're not trying to hold them up in the air to do, yeah. But nonetheless, anyway, you screw them together. You screw them together. And I just thought these were great because this is the Mariner's Compass and I love Mariner's Compasses. And this is a sand dollar and I love sand dollars. So. Um, I thought these were perfect for me. Anyway, that was at Fiber Rhythm, had some great stuff. Kat actually got a plant, which is funny, where we go yarn crawling and she picks up a plant. Um, the fun thing about Fiber Rhythm is, again, they have so much and they also have a lot when it comes to um, the spinning. They have other techniques of things there too. So this is a really kind of uh, roundabout, all kinds of stuff type of place to go. And so I, I would recommend if you ever have a chance and you're in Portland, it is very, very uh, industrial. You almost don't even see it because you have to know where it's at because of, of its location. It really isn't in an industrial type of build, or not type, it is an industrial building. Um, it's on the ground floor. It does have a few steps to step into the store. So if, you know, keep that in mind, but uh, beautiful. They have stuff for spinning. They have uh, stuff for crocheting and knitting. They have kits. That's where I got the kit. Let me see. Toft, 
uh, if you can way back there can you see that up on top of my uh, wall of yarn that's top that's that o octopus kit I got that there okay and Kathy I she got a kit too I think it's an elephant and she was working on that and I don't know what happened to that but <laughs> she got that kit um, but it's a great place to go again very very crochet friendly and had a nice uh, assortment and they have some great pop-ups there so that was fiber rhythm that was a lot of fun and that was number six so number seven is northwest wools this is a great place to go to so i think i'll meet you over at northwest wools see you there guys hey everybody welcome back okay as you can see we're at northwest wools and very excited this is one of those neat shops that just keeps on going in our little maze i got some really great stuff here that last year let's see what we can find this year so i'll meet you inside see you then Hi everybody. Okay, so Northwest Wools is one of the stores that we really had a tough time getting any video on the inside of. And I think I forgot to mention that Blizzard we didn't get the inside of and we didn't get the inside of Blizzard not because of uh, the size of it, but because we couldn't get somebody to give us the go ahead to record inside the store. And we always do that. We want to be respectful of everybody's stores. So we always ask. We couldn't get anybody's attention. They were really, really super busy. So we couldn't do that. And that's okay. Uh, we just weren't able to do that this time. But at Northwest Wolves, it wasn't so much we couldn't get anybody's attention as much as it was so crowded. It is such a small store, but they have so much. I mean, literally, and I know I'm using so, 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 so much, but it is amazing how much they can get into that store. Literally floor to ceiling, packed and room after room after room. It is great. And it's right in front of, I don't remember what kind of a, uh, uh, business that is in front of but it's a one-way street and it's diagonal this is how tired I was I look at the sign and the sign says angle parking only and I look at my daughter and I say hey look it's angel parking only <laughs> and my daughter looks at me and goes mom are you sure that's what it says <laughs> and I had to read it again and go oh no it's angle yeah okay so we went in of course you have to and they as soon as you, they did this last year too they give you a map of the store to kind of help you figure out where things are which i have to tell you is very very helpful because it, there's so much there you don't know where to start um they have a list of the yarns they have some of their classes they have very very great idea uh to really help you figure out what you're you're there for they have some really great buttons. So the yarn is fabulous, of course. You know, they have great yarns. A lot of nice, unique fibers as well. But one of the things that they have that I really like about them is buttons. <laughs> Gotten into buttons. But the buttons they have, um, they have horn buttons, so like elk and some other ones. And they have wood buttons. They have ceramic buttons. I don't remember if they had bone buttons. I think they might have had one or two. So I got, uh, you know, there's there's those two. So my, the buttons I found, these are the only two they had, at least when I went, and I got them both. Sorry, guys, I hoarded. Okay, these are actually shell. They're made out of seashells. I don't know if you can see that. That's the backside. But they've been polished up and cut up and just aren't those amazing. So I'm thinking either one of those yarns that I got, this would look great with. So I got that, and I also got this little birdie i thought it was so appropriate it says crocheter on it and it's you know uh th this year's theme was the bird thing and the the clay artist is candace wilson so um oh of one of a kind buttons <laughs> so candace i got one of your little birds i love it and i have her button too that's the crab button that i got over at pearl so here we go you know you just you just don't know what you're gonna find so northwest wolves again a lot of fun parking was relatively easy like i said they had that uh diagonal parking in front it's a one-way street uh it can be a little tricky getting in there but it's not really that bad just pay attention to what you're doing and and again we were there on a saturday afternoon and we found parking right away so it's not that hard we had if i remember crap last year we had to go down the street and just up the very first street past the store and we find parking there relatively close to the curb so it's or not the curb but the corner 
So again, not very hard to, to find parking and just a little bit of walking, really a great place to go. Again, very friendly, very kind, uh, and, and also very attentive to us crocheters. So they, they're, everybody's becoming more aware of our, our fortitude in the yarn world. So keep on plugging guys, because they're, they're noticing that we're out there and we're enjoying ourselves. So that was Northwest Wools. Northwest Wools, let's see. That was number seven. So on to number eight, which was for yarn's sake. And that one's the one off of Beaverton Hillsdale Highway. So I'll meet, and that's really cute. Anyway, I'll meet you guys there. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we are finally at for yarn's sake. This was a great shop. Really open, very clean, uh, very bright. So you can really see the colors of the yarns and some great pop-ups. So let's see what they have for us this year. All right, I'll see you inside. Hi everyone. All right. So the next stop is for yarn's sake. This is the one off of Beaverton Hillsdale Highway in that uh, shopping mall there where Fred Meyers is. It's over from Fred Meyers, but in that same shopping mall. I really like this store. It's again, a very big, clean, open, friendly, has a great place to sit and just, uh, you know, share your fiber arts. They have a little bit of a lot of things, not just accoutrements. They also have the likey hooks that I like. Um, they they had both sets the driftwood and the denim so denim i think was 110 was the price of the the set uh but they had those there they also have magazines and stuff so that's where i picked up this edition of uh interweave crochet and if you don't know about interweave crochet this is a, a really this is spring 2020 this is a brand new one I think I have this one, but I'm not sure. And I couldn't wait to not get it because there are some patterns in here I fell in love with. And I thought, you know what? I've, I just have to have it. So this this gives you an idea of some of the stuff that's in here. And isn't, isn't that two-tone one just really fun? I So needless to say, some great stuff in here. And that's what I picked up. And again, they have books, they have magazines, they have hooks. Uh, they have really some stunning, stunning arts. They also have some great sales, uh, sale yarns. So it's always a great idea to come in and just check that out. Okay. So that was, and I'm saying so a lot. Have you guys noticed that? I need to knock that off. Um, that was number eight, right? For yarn's sake, beautiful shop. It has really cute windows in the front and everything. All right. Knitting Bee. Oh, this is another one of those favorite ones. It's not a huge store, uh, but it's super cute. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to meet you over at Knitting Bee. See you in just a bit. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Okay, so we just got to the Knitting Bee. Well, we were there, and now we're here. Great stuff. This is another cute store. It is so... Here we go with the soap. It is beautifully appointed, clean, easy to get around everything. Not a huge selection, but what they have is great stuff. So here we go. These are stitch markers. Now, as you can see, these can be used for both knitting and crocheting because this is actually a hook. It's like a safety pin hook, but what a great plate, great way to keep them all. These happen to be all puppies. See, and just super cute wooden. I fell in love with these. And then because of the whole theme with the birds, I got this one, which is the egg in the bowl and the bird markers. Aren't those cute? I love stitch markers. Uh, they're just, not only are they cute, they're functional. And you can always turn them into zipper pulls and accents on clothing and hats and things. So don't they're not a single use item. They can be used for a lot of things. All right. So the next thing I got was this thing right here. And I love it. It looks like a sewing spool, uh, a thread, but notice how it's not. 
And I'm, what I'm actually looking for is a needle because the cool thing about this is that it's magnetic. So if I do this, see how that doesn't fall off? It's because it's actually magnetic. So the beautiful, and it's, it's actually ceramic with a magnet in it. It does have a little felt piece down at the bottom so it doesn't ruin the tips of your needles. But you can put your needle in there and it won't fall out. And it's heavy enough that it won't just tip over. And that's what I wanted it for because when it's on the table and I go and it just makes it so much easier to be able to find something like this uh, for my needles. I loved it. I fell in love with it. It is so cute. And, and it's blue. It was so funny. I looked at it and I, I looked at my daughter and I go, well, it's blue. I have to have it. So that was that one. And then, so with the idea of wanting to travel more, I I'm just always looking for things that are that's going to make my travel easier and one of them is always my concern about uh, scissors I have found these smallest scissors and they're very sharp they're super easy they have a little blue tassel my color blue they come in this great little leather case and this was fabulous fine for me as far as I'm concerned because I really wanted to keep uh, the scissors as tiny as possible how practical are they for traveling if you really think about it being that small you run the risk of dropping them they're not we'll see I had that reasoning for it but this was very a very neat it was I've never seen this brand before Kachang. so I will put it down below it's and the same this same company made the needle uh, holder as well and that's what I got from uh, Knitting Bee. They're just so cute. And here's their little button. Here's a close-up of their button this year. So the birds with the little bee. Isn't that cute? I just love it. And they are so fun. They were all dancing around and just having a great time. It was so, it was great. We walked in and just had a great time because this is the second to the last store. We really had a great time. Loved it. This park, the parking for them, like I said, it's not a big uh, store it is in a strip mall and it has plenty of parking really wonderful parking there's also uh, if you're into euros there's a euro i think it's a store or two down from them and they looked yummy i didn't get a chance we were kind of wanting to we were in that home home stretch right getting to the last store and we were thinking about maybe stopping there and having dinner but then thought no we want to get to the last store really Get, get this part wrapped up and then have dinner on the way home. So that's what we did. But I think next year we might make a point of having dinner there because that looked very yummy. I love euros. So yeah, you probably could have guessed that from having the euro over at Anoush. Anyway, that's what we did. The very last store, I really don't even need to look at it. That's Naughty Lamb. Great store, huge. And you're going to love getting when once we get there. So we'll see you there. Hey everybody! All right, well we made it to number ten. We are at the Naughty Lamb. Let's see if I can show you that. See, Naughty Lamb. Sorry, Cat's not with us, but it looks like she might have a little bit of uh, motion sickness, and that's just what happened. So, I mean, we did a lot of traveling. I think when we actually mapped it out last year, it was a hundred miles that we drove in one day. So we did it in one day. Woohoo! Us. All right. So this is the last and favorite. So let's see what happens, and uh, I'll see everybody inside. Bye. So yeah, Kathy did not feel Kathy Cat, my daughter, that was not feeling well when we got there. By the time I parked the car, again, easy parking, lots of parking, but by the time we parked the car, it was. I think it was like six o'clock when we got there she was not feeling well she had motion sickness so i went in but as i went in to register for the prizes and everything uh, and let them know that we had made all 10 locations and this this middle button that's the one that's the finisher button whenever you finish getting all the rest of them they give you that button and you hand in your passport which is what i what, what i did for both of us and as i'm doing that she showed up she all she needed was just to lay back a little bit, let her tummy settle for a second. She was able to join me for the last one. And that was uh, Naughty Lamp. 
great store. It's beautiful. I love the way that it's laid out. It feels warm and yummy. Uh, they always have a great pop-up and it just happens that this pop-up this year was this designer here. And I did not get it because you have to go online to purchase this pattern, but look at that sweater. She was there wearing it and you can make it as a crop top or as a long sweater either way. It's crocheted and she seemed really fun. I, I just enjoyed listening to her. Uh, her name is Haley Bailey and she just exuded so much energy and fun and it's crocheted. Love the technique. Partnered with another lady there that was a pop-up for yarn. So beautiful, beautiful. You can use your own color schemes or her color schemes. I think this is a pattern I'm going to have to own and I'm going to have to make because that butterfly is gorgeous. I really love that. The look, it's beautiful. She was wearing it and her friend was wearing it. This other lady was there and she had these stickers. Well, love, is that not the cutest thing? Look at that. Look at that little lamby. Isn't that cute? I had to have it, okay? Notice a the theme with the stickers this year. And finally, the last thing I got there, they have some great books, but this, this book, Crocheted, uh, Colorful Crocheted Lace, I actually had debated between this book and another book, but my daughter saw the patterns in here and said, no, mom, this is definitely your book. And there's one pattern in particular that I saw that I thought, wow, this is, this is the one that got my, here we go. This is the one that got my attention and I said I wanted to do this one. So see that, that technique here? Uh, I just, I thought it was gorgeous. I'm gonna have to make this one. We'll see if maybe I'm not. Anyway, so that's what I got over at um, Naughty Lamb. Great store. That's the one in Forest Grove. That's the one that we always end with. They're the ones that are also open till 8 o'clock, which is very helpful when you're doing all 10 stores in one day. They're very friendly, very crochet friendly, and they have all kinds of accoutrements. They have all kinds of accessories to help you in your crocheting or your knitting uh, and just to make things run smoothly, bowls and crochet hooks. That's where I got this set. I bought it from them and uh, I didn't buy the, the denim one and I'm not sure why and maybe because I'm thinking about all the other stuff that I'm going to be doing this year. So I'm hoping to go to Hell this year, Hell, Michigan, and meet up with their fiber, their fiber club. I'm hoping to go, and that would be in October, I'm hoping to go to the CGOA uh, Crocheters Guild uh, event in New Orleans. I'm really excited about that one too. So there's a lot of these events that I'm going to be a part of. And, oh, and then we've got off, of course, in, in September. I also have a concert that I'm going in September. <laughs> so there's other events that I'm going to be doing as well. That's really the, the shopping spree that we had. It was great. So many fun stuffs. If you're looking for some, something in specific and you think you might want find it at one store, you can always call the others. I am going to have all of these listed, not only down below, but I will also have them listed in Facebook. Support your local yarn shops. If you're not in Oregon, wherever you are, because these are the people that are helping our dyers and our spinners keep themselves going too. We, you know, the box yarns, don't don't get me wrong, I love box yarns, I love the acrylics. Lion Brand yarn is one of my favorite yarns. As a matter of fact, I just got, and we'll just do this side thing. I know, I'm off camera. Hi, I'm on camera, I'm off camera. I'll be on camera in just a minute. So what happened was, Lion Brand had this flash sale. I don't know if you know that, so if you don't know that, sign up for their, uh, what is it called, newsletters. And they had this, flash sale on baby soft yarn and this coral and this kind of gray violet color what do they call this they call it cloud so it's gray but it almost has a little bit of a purplish hue or maybe it's just putting it next to the this other one and this is called peach because it's peach and isn't that cute look at those hues together Super fun, love this. What size, what weight is this? Uh, this is a five, okay. 
beautiful, beautiful yarn, and I got each skein. I can't remember how much I got. It's basically twenty dollars, a uh, hundred dollars worth of yarn that I got for twenty dollars. Okay, because they had this flash sale. So you should keep your eyes open. You never know what you can find, and Lion Brand is great, but that's an acrylic yarn. All right, that other, those other yarns that I got were all merino wool. So it just depends on what you want to make. Um, this, this one here is just so that I could tell you so you can see what we're, and this is, these are hand dyed. That's the other great thing. Yeah, this is merino wool. Okay, and mulberry silk. Hello, okay, that's super fun. All kinds of great things. So we want to support our local yarn stores. And that's why if you have a yarn crawl in your area, if you can only participate one day and go to maybe a store or two, do it. If you want to hang out at one of your stores, do it. You know, this is how we get it out to everybody. And especially us crocheters, where we don't have as much exposures, uh, exposure as maybe some of the knitters do. Uh, we haven't I don't know why we haven't gone into those stores, but we need to because it's great yarn to get uh, to get to know. All right. All right, everybody. So that was Rose City Yarn Crawl 2020. Isn't that a great bag? I will have it up on my home office wall here soon. And uh, I should use them, but it has the buttons and I don't want the buttons to get ruined. It's almost like artwork to me. So I will have it up there and then next year I will pre-order. Suggest it, pre-order. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you again. So you guys all have fun and I will see you um, in the next time. As always, remember, click the little or uh, ring the bell and that'll announce when my next video is out. Subscribe if, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, I'd love to see you again. Also, join me over in Facebook and leave comments, questions. I'd love to talk to you guys if you want me to show more pictures of things let me know when i can do that too all right you guys have a great evening because it's evening here and i will talk to you soon bye everyone